to tell us all about the new documentary, NFL Characters Unite, please welcome Charlie Ebersol. Hello, sir. You look very dapper. Thank you. You too. You do. You dress up very <laughs> nicely. I saw you and your hot girlfriend at the Super Bowl. Well done, by the way. I, I, I've said a lot of times, I, I, my personal life is something that I try to guard, but I will say this. I'm uh, incredibly lucky. Yeah. Incredibly lucky. You are incredibly lucky, and I know you're trying to guard this, but since she is so hot, what did you think when you saw that? Uh, I would say that's a very accurate depiction of a very beautiful blonde woman. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> you are both lucky to have one another. <laughs> and even more importantly, what you're doing and sharing and shedding light on some very important stories. Your family went through a huge tragedy, of course, um, the, the plane crash and losing your brother. How much did that play into who you are today, Charlie? It defines who I am. I mean, when the plane crash happened, I. I, my father is amazing, my mother is even more incredible. Mm. My mom after the plane crash said two things to me. First thing she said was, you can be sad, but you can't be mad sad. You can't blame anybody for this. And it the second thing chills. she said, and this was huge for me, is I was very angry when the plane crashed. And I was sad, but I was very angry. And my mom said, um, looking at what you're gonna do with your life, you have to choose things that you love not confuse things you're good at for things you love. Mm. And at the time, I owned my own company. I was doing a lot of different things. I sold my business. I got out of all that, and I started focusing on content that really um, touched me. And so, how the old were you when that happened? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yeah. Twenty-one. Uh, and my uh, after that happened, we wrote a mission statement. For, I wrote a mission statement for my company, which is true today still, which was we will only create content that creates joy, happiness, and change. Mm. This is an amazing project, and I, I'm a little bit biased because I have an affinity for the NFL and obviously the good guys. Um, when all that stuff came out about Richie Incognito and Jonathan Martin, it really brought to light the bullying that does exist even at that level. And you wouldn't think, right, like tough football players and things like that, but there is a past for a lot of different people. What was your motivation for this? Well, two things. Four years ago when we started doing this, one of the things that struck me was every time I talked to an athlete, he'd say, Oh, you should really hear the story of my teammate who went through this thing as a childhood. Mm -hmm. And you start to put together a lot of these guys had this kind of very rough childhood that they could pass on. Mm -hmm. Second reason is I was bullied pretty bad as a kid. Yeah. And so the combination of the two created this opportunity for me to uh, get, I think, what I would have liked to have had as a kid, which is some superstar coming and saying, you know, I went through this too. The premise of the show is that we take these superstars and we introduce them to kids who are going through the exact same thing the player went through when they were a kid. Mm -hmm. And the player helps the kid. And we've done a lot of outreach with boys and girls and the YMCA and the YWCA. So several hundred thousand kids will get to watch this at YMCA's across the country cool. on Friday night when it premieres. Okay. And then we'll be doing events. We do a playbook that goes out to a lot of schools so kids can learn along and learn the stories of the players and what to do with bullying. You're a very busy man. You have recently <laughs> teamed up with Michelle Obama and Bradley Cooper. What's that all about? We, uh, we joined with an organization called Got Your Six to create a program called Six Certified because one of the things that's happening is when World War II ended, all these troops came home and the economy exploded because we saw them for what they were, highly trained, motivated people. Mm -hmm. And then when the Iraq and Afghanistan wars are ending, we have troops coming home and they surveyed Americans and Americans said they thought it was more of a burden than a benefit the troops were coming home. And so what we want to do is we want to certify, we want to honor the movies and television shows that do a good job telling accurate veteran stories. So thank, thank you guys for taking the time to do this. It is all of we our really pleasure. And make sure to check out Charlie's documentary, NFL Characters Unite, this Friday on USA.